Hello and welcome back to our HIP Roman Restoration campaign. In our last episode, we've been mostly just waiting out all of our truces, which are with all of the people who we need to go to war with again for Imperial Reconquests. Uh, that's fine though, we're getting our factions under control by doing that. Nothing too dangerous here at the moment. And we're also trying to save up 2,000 piety so that we can finally click the very exciting Mend the Great Schism button over here. And we've gained a tithe in Constantinople, which is good. Um, apparently we no longer have Tier 2 of our Imperial Reconquest. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Balkans and Sicily. What have we lost? Is it something over here? To do with this? Uh, what was the county again? Apamia? Oops. Uh, Term of Apamia, okay, over here. Ah, do we not have full control over this because it's held by the newly formed Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre, I see. Well, we may have to declare war on him, unfortunately, except that we can't. Well, that's annoying. He will accept vassalization, though. Okay, that's fine. Actually, now that we have them, can we donate money to them to gain piety? Mm, apparently not. We can expel them. Let's not do that, though. I assume that whoever owns this county is going to want to... control that holding, or rather the king, maybe? No, I guess not. That's fine, we'll just hold on to them then. Alright, various people changing their crown laws. I guess it's crown law season. Our duke here has usurped a title, okay. Um, I'd just like to check to see if we have a better ecclesiarch available. I guess we don't, okay. The reason being that we're kind of relying on conversions as a source of piety. So that if we can get them done faster, that would be better. I find one of my courtiers' wolfish grins unsettling. Our opinion of... Demetrios? Not this guy? Changes by minus 15, okay. Revolt going on in Corinthia. So there are other ways we could look to gain piety as well. I think building temples would do it. And we do have some land up here that it would be relatively cheap to build temples in. Is that a good use of 350 gold? I don't know exactly how much piety we get from this. But let's give it a go. It's impossible to try and get hold of Rheinbolt. He always has some sort of excuse to get away from me, ignores me, or even hides from me. 
So we dislike him, okay. Poor Reinbolt. Ooh, looks like we have a revolt going on again. Against Bohemia. Well, um, this is only a single county this time, but... I think we definitely want to take the opportunity to steal it while it's in revolt. Call in allies, but that obviously won't be necessary. Uh, we'll just raise this army. And this, that should be more than enough, I think. Current generation of young men from Tekirdag have won fame for their bravery and strength while fighting in your armies. Sounds good. I think it's important that my ward gain a better understanding of the arts and sciences. A well-rounded person will always do better after all, so the child is made to read texts on subjects ranging from natural philosophy to history and theology. So he gains one learning. Okay. I prefer the stewardship. And our younger son is now in need of an education. We would like to do that ourselves, and we actually have the room to do so. So I think I'm going to go ahead and give him the title of Simbasilius. just to see if this gives him precedence as our heir. And unless it takes a little longer to update, it does not. That's okay though. I guess we'll just have to make do with only having a genius as our heir. So we should be a little bit careful of Bohemia's army down here, but looks like they only have a couple thousand right now. This county is Plains, so let's get right in there. 38, Marshall. That's pretty good. He must be getting advice from somebody. Uh, he's hearing the voice of Jesus. Yes, Jesus is giving him military advice. Plus 20. Okay. Well, we'll take advantage of that, no problem. Our despot of Bosnia is creating titles. And we gained some technology from Barcelona. And Genoa has been converted. Though not by our ecclesiarch, so I don't think we got any piety for it. More technology. I appreciate it. So our son is now able to marry the Princess of France. Sounds good. We need to grant commander title to somebody. Give it to somebody whose opinion can actually be improved. We probably don't care about this guy's sexual preferences. I think this was the same guy that somebody was uh, telling me stories about before. Apparently word is getting around. Okay, the marriage has happened, so we should be allied with France now. Apparently our alliance with Castile has expired at some point, so... I guess we can have France instead. So we won this battle. Our daughter is of legal age, became a scholarly theologian. Okay. She is also possessed. Uh, we could go ahead and get her married to somebody. I guess we could marry her to our vassal Exarch of Italy. Just make sure he stays happy with us. Probably our most powerful vassal, that seems like a decent idea. Let's 
let's go and fight the remnant of his army there, and then I guess just head into the capital. Looks like they have a few more troops raised. I guess they have some subholdings in some of their counties. But we'll just concentrate on sieging the capital. Get a chance of capturing some high value prisoners. Though the leader himself is not at home. And we converted another county, which gets us some more piety. 1423. We'll just move him along to Rimini over here. And also retake the ambition, of course. So my son is up to being a skilled fighter, which is even better. And my younger son is also mastering the art of swordsmanship. Do kiss her, usurping things, that's okay. And we're also short a commander. Still no progress on our plot to kill the King of Bohemia, unfortunately. It should happen at some point. Hopefully before the truce just expires naturally. Another five years to wait on that though, so I'd say we have a pretty good chance of doing it. Already up to level two swordsmanship, and he is only six. During a lively discussion with my friends and advisors on matters of the realm, my wife suddenly intruded into the conversation to share her opinion. While she made a fair point, this sudden intrusion by a female certainly made the others uncomfortable. So we can say, a good point, milady, wouldn't you agree, my lords, and lose prestige? But also, make our wife happier. I don't think we care about this courtier's opinion. Claimant on the Grand Duchy of Kiev, hmm. We can nod politely and move on, or... We can... Scold our wife, okay. I think we'll make our wife like us more, probably. Though she is going to have a pretty high opinion of us no matter what. We'll just nod politely and move on. Uh, great, he's already succeeded in his mission to Rimini. So we're just over 500 piety away from being able to click the button. Let's move him to this very tiny county in here. And he has converted a subject, which I don't believe gives us any piety. But I appreciate it. Bardus threw up on me while we were dining. Okay. I don't suppose it would be justified to throw him in the dungeons for that. Much as we might like to. We probably wouldn't like to. We're kind, of course. We do need to appoint a new Ecclesiarch. Um, unfortunately, we have only pretty terrible ones available. Appoint somebody with 11. I guess we probably should have appointed the Ecumenical Patriarch. Are we able to appoint successors to our uh, vassal bishops? I don't think so. I do wish they weren't all so bad at learning. But this might slow down our piety gain a bit. 
assume he's going to be much worse at his job. We do actually have to have him do his job for him to have any chance of succeeding, of course. Uh, still has a 13% chance yearly. Okay. So our C tier is pretty close to finishing. Gets us to 87%, no prisoners, unfortunately. Uh, let's just take a look at the progress of the war overall. We want to make sure that we get this finished before the revolt ends. 20%. Uh, we'll probably have time to siege another couple of holdings the slow way, but maybe it would be better to raise some more troops and get up there and assault it. We're going to need more than that 6,000, though. If we raise everything from around here. We might have enough. Uh, we can get Corinthia there as well. So that should be plenty. So just taking one county here seems fairly insignificant, but it's actually kind of a big deal, because it's one less war that we're going to have to do against Bohemia, which is five fewer years of truce that we have to wait out. Definitely important to jump on these opportunities when we see them. I think it's important that my ward gain a better understanding of the arts and sciences, so he's going to gain some more learning. He gained two that time, actually. Which I guess is pretty good, though I would still kind of prefer the stewardship. We have a new king of Moldova, who is pretty happy with me. Alright, we'll just wait for the remaining troops to get in here before we click the assault button. In fact, we've mostly completed this siege the slow way, before they got here. That's okay, though. And that's a hundred, so we'll enforce demands. Okay, so we gain this directly, we'll just grant it to a random person. We are above our vassal limit, but we should be able to transfer the vassalage to the rightful duke here. Was it this person? Yes, okay. And we have another count guy here. It's supposed to be under Parma, which we apparently cannot create because we only have one of its two counties. Similar story with Mantua here, okay. Well, we're exactly at our vassal limit, so we're probably going to have to do something about reducing our number of vassals, and that'll probably be some cons consolidation over here in Anatolia and Greece, since we can't create the kingdom titles here. Uh, we may just wait a little while on doing that, though. We gained a little bit of plot power in our attempts to kill the king here. If there was any chance of getting his spymaster into the plot, that would be extremely valuable. And we might have a chance of getting close to 200. I'm going to try handing out some bribes and see what we can do. Uh, 
it helps that all of these people only want 20 gold, so we can definitely afford to give it a try. Let's see where that gets us. Still not to a uh, 200, I think. Okay. One eighty eight, not too far. If one of these people was close and could actually be gotten into the plot, I would love to do it, but probably not gonna be the case. Well, hopefully we'll get it over 200 at some point, or it'll just fire as is. But for now, we are just a bit out of time, so we'll have to leave it here. Thanks for watching, and join me again next time.